Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf. And in today's video, Ben Hogan is gonna show us one of the coolest tips ever. If you want more power, more consistency, and your swing to just go on autopilot, you need this golf tip. So let's get started. Subscribe to this channel if you want the best ball striking of your life because I'm gonna help you get there in a body-friendly and simplified manner. Now let's talk about Ben Hogan. He goes without saying that Ben Hogan was probably the Chuck Norris of golf. In Ben Hogan's book, Five Lessons, it's a fantastic read, he talks about the arms being knitted together, take some saran wrap, knit them really tightly together, and your elbows pointing to either hip here. This is very significant and it does something. If you stand up straight and you put your arms out like this, you'll notice that it connects your upper arms to your sides really tightly. And that's good because it helps the club trace the proper path every single time in the golf swing. You hear me talk about how the torso directs the movement of the club throughout the golf swing. Assuming if your arms are staying connected and straight, you're gonna trace the proper path every single time, which means consistency for you, which then translates into more fun. So Ben Hogan, with this tip, is really doing you a nice favor, but it's overlooked because we all think, yes, keep the arms straight, keep the arms straight. We know to keep the arms straight. But did you know that the position of the elbows as they relate to your hips really has a big influence on the golf swing? No, I bet you didn't because I see a lot of amateur golfers set up to the golf ball and they've got a beautiful posture. Arms are straight, hanging down nicely, but then you look at the elbows and they're somewhat bowed out like this, bow-legged arms. And it doesn't even have to be this extreme. This is an extreme example, but if you set up with your arms straight down here and your elbows are pointed out beyond your hips over this way, that's gonna cause your upper body connection here between your arms to fail, which means your swing could go all over the place. You don't want that. It also means that this connection here against your trail side, the power connection, the connection that allows you to generate speed, this connection starts roaming around in what I call the slot machine position, which just essentially means you're gonna be guessing every single time you hit a golf ball because the connection keeps moving. Not only that, but if your arms are out a little bit, and trust me, this is very subtle. This is such a minute point about the setup and the swing that's easy to overlook. If you've got these out a little bit with that roaming connection, you can do things like this. Your arms will just control the swing or you get the chicken wing or your arms will break down or it won't even look that bad. You could have a nice looking swing, but this slight roaming connection can cause the club to go too low too early in the backswing. So we know to get the hands in, but you can get too low here, which puts you in a whole other slew of problems like hooks and pushes. Ew, oh my. Keeping the arms out in front of you like this and the elbows pointed at the chest connects your upper arms to your side, keeps the club the proper distance away from you throughout the entire golf swing and enables you to have a fluid, simple motion. The club will do most of the work based on the turn of your torso. Oh, so powerful. So let's hit some shots with this feeling. Before I hit some shots, I just want to show you in a little bit more detail how subtle and how important this is. If you have your arms bowed out like this, I know the arms are straight here, this arm is straight, this arm is straight, but they're bowed out, the elbows are pointing beyond my legs, beyond my hips, which means doesn't matter what you do at this point, this connection is already somewhat lost between your arms and your body. And now you've got to play a little bit of game of slot machine golf, which is like playing a game of roulette. Just guess, guess, guess. Don't want that. You want some certainty in your game. You want some consistency. So we've got the bowed out position, which is very subtle right here. And then we've got the Hogan position. Notice the slight difference. It's such a small difference. It's so small, but it goes a long way. I played a round of golf the other day and I was hitting it well, but I hit some big draws, some big hooks. And I realized halfway through the round that I didn't have my Hogan arms, one of my big keys for good contact. So I got those Hogan arms. Next hole, three iron, 215, landed it on the green, almost made eagle. Oh, that would have been so much more fun. You gotta be able to 
recognize this, li this little bit could mean bit mega yardage versus ho-hum yardage. Mega, ho-hum, mega, ho-hum. I know you want mega yardage and mega consistency, so just set this in your swing, and it's really easy to keep going throughout your swing. You got it set right here so it's not going anywhere. Set it and forget it. Let's hit some shots. This is one of the trademarks of Hogan's swing. It's how he has, was able to keep those arms so straight, that nice fluid motion. It's so sweet because all you have to do is turn your torso with this setup right here. Ooh, that felt good. Just the first shot of the day. Woo, that was, that was disgusting like far. Ooh, yeah. Y'all know I just can't hold back my emotions when hitting these shots. It's so crispier than KFC with some side of mashed potatoes and gravy. It's very delicious. Hands forward, Hogan arms. Just turn that torso. Ooh, yeah. That's worth a million dollars. <laughs> million dollar golf shot, it feels so good. Here we go again, good, good grip. Not really thinking about much here. Got my setup. Hands forward. Hogan arms first, hands forward. Turn the torso. Yeah. That's pretty consistent. And I'm not thinking much about the swing at all because I know the arms have preset the path of the club. So Hogan arms, hands forward. Ooh, that felt good. I want y'all to have this much fun. It's so much more simple. Body friendly, I don't even feel any stress. I mean, it feels like nothing. Air, air, feels like air. You know how Hogan looked like he was doing nothing? That's what it feels like. Let's go down the line. Like I said, if you get these arms set up correctly, the path of the club going back is very consistent. Trace the same path every single time. Makes life a whole lot easier for you. Ooh, that felt good. Through my pre-flight checklist here. Hogan arms, hands forward, torso turn. These are going, you can feel it, mashing the ball against the club head. These are like tight little draws. You can just feel it. Right on the middle of the club face. All right. Up, oh, got my bow leg arms again. You don't want to do that. Hogan arms. Hogan arms. Hogan arms. Hands forward. Torso controlling. All right, that felt good. That was the slightest miss hit. Felt good though. <laughs> it can feel good, you can hit it, miss hit it just a hair. All right, here we go. Comfortable setup, Hogan arms, hands set, torso turn. Ooh, yeah. No, no slot machine there, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, that felt like that felt like liquid gold, crispy KFC, all day long. Segudo golfers, you can have this repeatable, automatic, simple, body-friendly golf action with Ben Hogan's tip. Ben Hogan was right this whole time. So ran wrap around those arms, keep those elbows pointing to your hips, and the club just follows, hits all the positions, all of them, and you don't have to think about it, which means less swing thoughts for you. Less swing thoughts means more fun for you, and more fun means you're gonna play more golf, and that's what I want you to do. I know that all rhymed. So, just a quick recap. Make sure those arms are Hogan style. 
Don't bow out the elbows. The elbows should never point beyond the hips. They should point to the hips, facing outward. And then from there, all it takes is a torso turn away from the target and back to the target. And everything will work in unison. You'll have perfect harmony in your golf game and your life. Because, you you know, golf equals life. So if you have harmony in your golf game, you'll have harmony in life. So good old golfers. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And if you're looking for a simplified, body-friendly, fun approach to learning the golf swing, check out my website, segudo.golf. Short three to five minute videos taking you from foundation to finishing your golf swing and videos covering your entire golf game from short game and beyond. So I look forward to seeing you there in class. Only $10 a month for the price of a Starbucks coffee. You could be playing your best golf. So what are you waiting for? Come on, join me in class. It's way more detailed than YouTube and we're gonna have some fun. I'll see you there. Have a rockin' week.